Each year, Stanbic IBTC's leadership series comes with focus on trending issues. And this time, the group has shifted attention to agribusiness to support government's call for economic diversification. The real challenge for us is actually um, unlocking the opportunities in agriculture, the, the execution of it, you know, um, making everything that we all talk about a reality. I'm happy for things like this that is happening in Nigeria. We now can go out there with what we have learned, mentor these our youth, and make them change the way they think, the way they see agriculture. Experts from different subsectors of agriculture dwell on reasons for private and public entities to key into the growing agric value chain. They had a tremendous amount of land, they had a tremendous amount of access to water, they had access to labor, and they had very large internal markets that enabled them to build up the economies of scale internally to dominate global export. We take waste, thrown away organic material, and we grow the tiny little eggs. So one kilo of eggs turns into roughly 10 tons of protein. So agri-protein, I think, will fundamentally change the protein and the food cycle in the developing and developed world. With such convergence between agriculture and environment, Stanbic IBTC says its arms are wide open for funding. We provide financing for machinery. We also provide um, financial advisory services really to enable the agricultural value chain. With John Deere bringing many of the solutions and services and technology and then working with Stanbic IBTC on the finance and Tata to co deliver that complete John Deere experience, and that's, why, that's why we're having some success here and that's why we're very optimistic about the future. The buzzword derived from this meeting is agripreneur. So whether economic policies change or not, the objective of these experts is to feed the nation.